you're playing a game on Fortnite or on yeah. Roblox. Everyone cares about skins. There's no reason why you can't buy our kicks and then you can't use that on your avatar. The way you think, it's very it's very analytical. Like you're very pragmatic and like problem solving based. So my question to you is where, where did that come from? And what was your first introduction to business? Like did you learn how to think this way as you went along? Or did you always think this way and think this is what I'm gonna do? Yeah, um, I think that's just innate, honestly. Like um, I've always, I've always obviously like when you don't have much going on as a child, bro, you, 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 get, you get very creative. Can I just, can I just interrupt you? Yeah. yeah. Because as soon as you ask that question, I personally feel like his story gives that off mm. in that. I, I think like a lot of the reason why, um, you know, we often go back to West Africa. Obviously, we're gone in and Nigeria. So, um, and even when you go back to Yard and so on and so forth, you see things born out of necessity. Like you see people are not people are not so ridiculously innovative because they're trying to be the new new or like people are making wheelchairs from spare parts of whatever because no, their grandma needs to go to the shop and yep. she can't walk and i feel like with franklin's story like i feel like the 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 necessity to help mum and the family is is this is the product of it. Yeah. That's the, but like no, I said, bro, like you said that, you said that perfectly, bro. It's exactly that. Like um, when you've come from, like he like was like rightly said, when you come from like not having much, you gotta be very creative in how you think. And I feel like I've, that's kind of like how I've just navigated a lot of things. So everything I'm I'm doing, I'm always asking questions, always trying to figure things out, trying, trying to learn. Because obviously I didn't have people to like, and my, my dad wasn't there. So like for me, it was a lot of things like, okay, cool. I'm seeing my man doing it. I'm like, hey, cool, how do you do that? So mm. asking questions just gave me that mindset. So I'm always, I'm always asking questions. And I've applied that in every industry. And that's why obviously when I moved into, obviously now, and it's, it's mad because I don't want to go into like the whole school system because I feel like I'm another mad team as well because um, I grew up in Nigeria. Um, yeah. I was born here, but I grew up in Nigeria. Um, and Did you ever play counter football as a, as a kid? Oh man, bro, come on! <laughs> I was talking about bro, hey, say, bro, like, it. Goes back to, it goes back to what you're saying. When you don't have things here, you start to make out of nothing. You, bro, yeah, we're counter games. football. The, the most C- counter football. Yeah. What's that? So basically, like, all right, you, if you, you open like a bottle of Guinness, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Or a of they just said it take the, the bottle top, yeah. and you make your football team. So we used to, <laughs> as kids, we used to find bottles oh, like bro. bottle tops. So if I see like someone open a bottle of coke, I'll grab it quickly. Yeah, quickly. I'll be like, right, that's my team. I've yeah, got bro, you're gonna get all the rap, all the rap ones as well. Yeah. You're get the Guinness ones, yeah. you get the coke ones, the coke one, yeah. and then you get like the the, the cassette, like yeah. the cassette, um, like the little ball. Yeah, as oh man. Then you, then you literally make, you make your then you goal. Make your yeah. shit. Oh, okay. Then you bend, uh, you bend one of the countertops to make your goalkeeper. Okay. okay. <laughs> Creative thinking, Creative bro. Thinking, I'll yeah. tell you, bro. Like, but initially, that's what we we're talking about. Yeah. Where you don't have much, you gotta think differently. Yeah. I feel like I've, I've, I've come from that. And the, and the, the, the craziest thing, though, like I was watching a podcast as well yesterday. It was actually talking about like Elon Musk and Steve Jobs and their man. And we're talking about like the most genius people always go through like a lot of adversity mm. and it's like through that you kind of like it makes you into this thing because the way you think it's not like everyone else mm. because everyone else like when you're comfortable survival oh when you well, when you have to go for survival that's when like the like, exactly like the animal in you comes out and i feel for me like it's always kind of being that like Obviously, I'm Nigerian as well, so we, do, we cannot carry last in <laughs> Jesus' name. Funny. So that that amplifies everything as well. But yeah, not to your question, I feel like that to me just came from um, yeah, just trying to survive. And mm. then you know, I'm finding myself in like different positions, in different rooms, and you know, you can't like get to your place, and you go, oh right, okay, now what's next? And then what's next? So you know, like I was born in this country, moved to Nigeria, and then things were like like difficult. Came back. And then, like, for me, it was about, okay, cool. My first job, understood the system, understand what they're doing. And then, luckily, and I feel, I'm very spiritual as well. I feel like there's only, like, God as well. Like, you know, he sets, like, like path in you. Sometimes the devil takes you to a different, like, detour. And then you find yourself coming back eventually. But for me, it's always just being, understanding what comes innate to me. Like, what are the things that I gravitate towards? I've always just, like, you know, on vibes. Okay, cool. Like, you know, this thing here, I, I quite like doing this. Um, and then just doing that and understanding okay cool I'm quite good at doing this and then just going deeper 
asking the questions. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I ask questions all the time. Even with the, the, the shoe thing, why are we using this material? Why are we using the soul? How do you do this? How do you do that? Because that's how I learn. And asking those questions, and then it's just like progressively, you know, you start here, you just never know what you're going to get to. And it's just like, it just takes, you know, and I feel like, hence the reason why for me is like, how do I amplify that to get more people to step out of the, because bro, like, life is for the living bro like that's that's one thing that really gasses me up is like you know i wasn't making money when i was freelancing as a product manager um but i've never been more fulfilled in my life than now because now i'm actually creating i'm actually being able to wake up every day and go like okay what we're we doing now like yeah. after we fun like oh man it's a monday morning bro like it's different like my, yeah. now i feel like i'm actually alive mm. um and it's like that feeling um yeah, I, I mean, like, for me, like, how do I amplify that? How do I get more people like me or put more people that even feel this way? Because, like, bro, like, I know a, a lot of people are going through a lot right now, like, especially with the, the um, economy, like, and how things are, are, are going right now. But it's like, it takes, it takes us to provide those jobs for ourselves. Because everyone's complaining, oh, there's no jobs. Like, yes, let's create them. Like, we can create jobs. We can create all the things that it can be done. It just takes the community come together Someone and understand that. it. Someone said that to me at Translate Culture. They were like, everyone here seems to be creating their own lane out of, exactly what we said, out of necessity to, to survive. Because mm-hmm. when people are saying there's no jobs, there's not this and that, everyone's kind of found that, especially after who were there doing things in, in different lanes and different avenues I was like wow it's crazy bro. I think I think now everybody's like sees a job as a foundation and nothing more. and nothing more like, yeah there's before um, like pre-covid you had a job it's like alright cool you were safe job. <laughs> yeah. and I think now everyone's like okay cool I need a job now oh, sorry I've got a job now let me look at the next income and I, I don't feel like that was that yeah. existed as heavily before. No, yeah. And honestly, I didn't say everything. I think obviously, like the jobs that I've had, has made me understand. Like you, you asked a question around from a business perspective. Mm-hmm. The jobs that I've had has made me understand business. And I feel uh, like yeah. sometimes, you know, I, again, I know this. I like you know, certain managers go straight into business. Like you know, if you have people that you've seen that, and that's good. But understanding how you the, you know what I mean like yeah. you're like an apprentice you're there yeah. understanding yeah. this is how you do it at that level this is how because every business is an organization it's organized thinking you have my man's in operation my man's doing marketing my man's doing sales my man's like and it's all the units moving fire at the same time I know you feel like for you yeah it cuts out a lot of mistakes you could have potentially made because yeah, now you haven't worked in that certain field you could have come into your business now and you could have been making mistakes for the next five, ten years that now you've condensed into yeah, yeah, yeah. one my, year. Yeah, my, exactly. my synopsis of what you said was you had the know-how yeah. and you've been having the know-how, you just yeah. didn't have the product. Yeah, exactly. And then you, you had the product and that was it, good to go. Yeah, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. I, I still made mistakes because obviously yeah, there yeah, is, no, yeah, there yeah. is like you as an, as an employee yeah. to you actually as a business owner now. There's, you, you're going to make mistakes, but like you said, mm. You can make mistakes, but you can learn very quickly because you know how things should be done properly. It's, yeah. it's, 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 boy, it's mad because a lot of things that I know, when it came to my brand, I'm just like, I'm not doing it. And then I'm like, I'm making myself go like, what, you're a dickhead. Why do you, you know, this yeah, is how you should have done, done this. But obviously, because when you're just trying to like, focus on like certain things, you just forget. But I think yeah. just having that framework in place is so needed because a lot of these companies, that's all they have. Yeah. This have frameworks. Yeah. Like this is how we sell. This is how we market. This yeah. is how we design. And yeah. it's all like because everyone needs to understand the structure of the company. And like me being able to work at bigger companies, understanding how they do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now it's about like okay, cool. I can go away and then do it for myself. But obviously yeah. now, obviously the, the next part now is like building the team, building and collaborating. And back to what you said about, um, you know everyone's like doing their own thing now. I feel like the next stage, and I, I'm actually seeing this now with like, how do we collaborate? Cause there's, yeah. there is this, this, this power and unity. Like yeah. I can only move as far as I can, but yeah. if I partner with, cause for me, it's like the whole look mm-hmm. and it's also where you go to. So if I partner with someone like, okay, cool. Like, you know, you've got, you've got a venue, hosting events, all right, cool. Like if all these pictures there, you know, when you're going there, I can shoot going like, this is how you start yourself even with like um, my, my man's events. Mm-hmm. Cause we're storytelling ourselves. Cause now that I'm actually looking into 
the person mm. and where they're going to. So we can start to like form like strategic partnership. I can go, oh yeah, cool. My man makes you know nice t-shirts and nice trousers. Mm. Okay, cool. Let's collaborate. Yeah. Rather than me having like when I'm content creating, I'm just like you know all that, like nah, let's part this because you know my thing is shoes, your thing is this, your thing is venues, your, and then it's like very quickly we're building our own like ecosystem. And I feel like that's the next phase of what I'm actually thinking about. It's like finding more people that are doing things and let's figure out how can we just advance ourselves together because yeah. bro the opportunity is there bro like it's plenty like yeah. you know what I mean oh, that's dope man so yeah so back to my question so it's two parts so so what was your first introduction to business was it Elvardi or um yeah I thought I feel like this was like my first this is actually my, my first business after okay. I started but, okay, cool. um, because I was freelancing so I was kind of like running my own okay. solo yeah. business I was doing that for like 13 years mm. obviously it's not a brand but it's a business so yeah. it's not like you know going to company as a contractor you know yeah. doing your books and all that stuff so I understood taxes I understood company yeah. structure and I'm all that you. bit but I've never really like built a brand yeah, I've so worked for brands you know what I mean so it's yeah. kind of like now I'm going and doing it for myself that's yeah, because I'm thinking. So obviously, when you when you run a business, a business asks a lot of questions of you. Yeah, uh, so yeah. You find out a lot about yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So to so close up, what would you say has been the best? Do I want to say the best question? What do you what, what 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 do you think the main the main takeaway from from running your own businesses? Like what question was asked from from potentially the the struggle or the challenges of running your own business, and how did you answer it? Like you mean like questions in terms of like yeah just in the, in the, in the sense of like yeah myself. yeah what did what did you need to learn to be able to be in this situation oh, right, right okay. now yeah i think the number one thing like running a business is understanding your why like why are you doing this like okay. because no one really cares about what you're doing like fact they care about what value you, you, you're giving to them so i think you know you, know, you were talking about like, the little components that i've thought about i had to look into like holistically um like what is that business model and what are we actually trying to do um and like I said, for, for me personally, it's about how do we like create products that are dope, that are stylish, um, but also thinking about like sustainability, social impact, and also like you know innovation. Um, but it's, like that structure for me is like key. And then obviously the other part is like who are the the key people that you need to get get that business moving. So you're talking about like your suppliers. You're talking about like you know where you get your materials from and all the things that you need. And it's also as well in terms of like marketing and your customers how like what's like well like, obviously right now it's a bit different because you have like shopify that can use like sell stuff online but you know if you want to go to retail what's that strategy so these are things that i'm now thinking about so i think the number one question really is like first of all like what's your why and then understanding how are like, you can like operate as a business and if that comes from like from your structure from the operations to every other thing that you need and bro and i'm, I'm still learning bro i'm not i'm not saying that I've, I've, all the answers mm. like Every day for me, it's, it's a new struggle. Like I'm learning more, or I'm excited to learn. Like to me, this is what it, it, it like it, it gasses me up. Like just understand. Okay, cool. Here's the problem. How do we fix it? That's that's how I think. Um, so it's always going to be new things. But um, but yeah, just, just here just to keep going, bro. How do you keep your 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 team motivated? Um, the bigger picture. Yeah. Yeah. The, the bigger always the bigger picture. Like um, like the bigger picture. Like I I, I see it in my head. It's so clear but it's about to how to get there and obviously it's like helping them understand the vision yeah. like um i get goosebumps when i think about being able to sponsor the thousand kids to go and study like bro like i went to um so the london college of fashion they do like the graduate day where obviously once you've graduated um they kind of showcase what you've done yeah. um so i went to like the last one because now we've got like a partnership with them so they, i was like um, invited and like out of like a hundred and thirty eight people that graduated, this is from like the fashion like um on, on final years, there were only two mixed race kids. Yeah. Uh, only two. So one hundred and thirty six. One hundred and thirty six were all white. mainly Asians, yeah. like and then whites, yeah. and then two mixed race kids. Yeah. Like to me, like that's a big problem yeah. because like, and again, it's like I understand it. If I told my mom when I was in school, that, oh, you have to come a designer, she'd be like, are you mad? Like, because we don't see people like us designing and what you can do yeah. as a designer. So why would I go to school and spend? Because it's not cheap as well. Like, these, these courses are expensive. But being able to, like, find a way to... Because all the models that were showcasing what they were wearing, like, 8% were black. Yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> 
we are the ones that, um, and obviously all the, and again, like, there's nothing wrong with us being a model. I've got no, like, like you don't want to see it on us, because that's how you go, oh, yeah, this is going to bang if I, if I see it on a black skin. Like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong in that, but I also want to see us, when when, when, when you're walking out and clapping, I want to see a black person walking out as well. Yeah. And like, and to me, like, this is what I sell to my team. It's like, yeah, no, we, I'm, we're trying to create something that's going to be impactful here. We're not trying to just like, Obviously, and also like design shoes out of fire, and just and just keep going and see how far we can take this. And being able to, you know, I do a few things as well tech wise because I'm a techie. So if you if you like, you know, open the box, um, there's a card on there. If you scan on that, it will take you to the digital passport. Yeah. So um, can we talk about the bag as well? Because this is this is this is like a premium product. Yeah. That, so that, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah. So if you just scan on your phone. Yeah. Um, you get a phone out. Yeah. You see that that alone, yeah, is is appealing to a whole different market. So it shows yeah. the it shows so the exact shoe that, as well. That, that, that will get me. <laughs> it shows the size. <laughs> that will get me like a fool. <laughs> yeah. So this is this is what um this is another area of the brand where because yeah. for me, like I said, like innovation is quite key, like critical as well. Like so, this is like your digital twin. Mm. Um, it's not there yet, but I'm. I'm five, ten years away. Yeah. There's no reason like why yeah. once you start doing things like um, you know, you're playing a game on Fortnite or on yeah. Roblox, everyone cares about skins. There's no reason why you can't buy our kicks and then you can't use that on your avatar. That interoperability is yeah. something that I'm already thinking about. Yeah. So hence the reason why I'm building because no one understands why I'm doing this. Yeah. They're like, Oh yeah, why are you having like a NFT? I'm like NFT is not about just buying, you know, all these arts and you're selling yeah, it that's not what yeah. it's about it's about it's a digital asset yeah. that you're taking something that's physical and then you can convert that into a digital asset that you can yeah. use because now that i know you own the shoes once yeah. you register it yeah. that's your shoes so yeah. once you start finding ways to plug this into the other like gaming engine or yeah. you know even no one knows what we're going to start doing on social media because yeah. ai is moving mad now there's mm -hmm. going to be a point where we would have like ai influencers yeah those influencers are going to be wearing something yeah. <laughs> so like you know what I mean? So if you have the shoes, like cool, you bought the shoes, you can yeah. wear it. So that, that's, that's like one side, which is like the, the, the digital twin, but the other part is like transparency. So if you go back to um, the page, you will see that it's like, it's like three tabs. Yeah. Um, so on, if you look like on materials. Yeah. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do here is actually upload, you just click on, on view more. So I kind of like uploaded like the certificate of yeah. like, um, so it just shows you like mm. so when i say this is like italian leather yeah. i'm showing you um and i want to do more with this yeah i want to bring transparency so i want you to use this to show people this is your shoe here is the material your shoes are made from uh, i want to do like a documentary of like who's making your shoe so you yeah. can see that you can see where it's made how it's made all that process and it's there so as you get the shoe it's that whole piece mm -hmm. um so like innovation wise bro i'm already like five ten years ahead like to me because i know like that's how we can win yeah. it's not like, like it's like doing it and doing it at a level that's different because as a small brand i know like i'm competing with like the nikes and the pumas and them man so for me to be able to like be in that same space i've got to give people something that's different mm -hmm. like, that was interesting to me when the, <clears throat> excuse me when the opportunity arose for you to sell your sneaker you stood up and you're here front and center just selling it to me like i'm, I'm a salesman so that to me i'm just seeing differently how you're approaching the situation i'm i'm very impressed yeah, I, love, bro. I appreciate that man appreciate that i'm going to show you one more thing yeah one more thing that's that it's um, also quite big as well so um i know people talk, talking about like AR and um, so on, on our website. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, one second. Yeah, I'm not sure you can see that. So on yeah. our website, like every shoe has like with like implemented like uh, augmented reality, mm -hmm. um, where I can just click on that. And I can place that anywhere. So like that's the shoe. Yeah. So I can just like. So you can, so you can check how it drops with that outfit. <laughs> Come on, bro. Yeah, man. Um, bro. So let me let me let me actually just show you so you can just do it. You can just do it yourself. So just just try it on. That's, 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 that's actually crazy. Uh, that's mad, bro. <laughs> 
Uh, did you cream your ankles? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so you can just like very quickly just see how it looks like on, on you. Oh, yeah. Before you even buy. Before you even buy. Do you know what? Like, and then, because. Sorry to. Uh, like, I remember seeing. Because IKEA was the first people that I see doing that. Yeah. The, the AR thing. So you can place something like in your yeah. living room to see. To see it. how it fit. Yeah. And, Bro, I was so sold on that yeah. that I was just buying stuff in IKEA for the sake of it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's easy to sell stuff to you, innit? Yeah, let me let me get aloe vera pro in this I, corner. I respect good salesmanship. I do. I honestly do. Alright. So so I see that as well. I've started taking a picture. I've just put the shoes on there. I've just augmented it in reality. What I wanna do with this. And for me, it was like I said, like I'm a very, I'm a very, I'm a very creative person. What I want to do with this, this guy's got is, an advertising campaign that he doesn't need to do himself. <laughs> yeah, so like so something like that. Yeah. What I want to do with this yeah. is to now find ways to like gamify the experience. Yeah. So I'm thinking, you know, you I come to your event yeah. and then find a way to go. Yeah, cool. Have fun with this. Put the yeah. shoes and whatever, and then just take pictures and have fun with it. Yeah. Like just play around with it. And then you know, like Snapchat started doing this, where you had filters. Yeah. So like, there's no, and, and that was more on a, on a platform basis. But yeah. now we start doing that with a brand. Yeah. Because I know, like, oh cool, you want to be at Manny's thing, like, over mm -hmm. on Sunday. You, you're, you're dividing, cool. Like, you're wearing the kicks. You place the shoe. Real, you start to play around with it. That's what yeah. I'm thinking about. Give, give people's, you know, tech and this gauge, like, play with it. Mm -hmm. And you know, you just find a way to like be the creative. Um, but yeah, but a lot of things. So to your question about like, um my like my team i'm showing them all of this this is what i'm thinking about i'm thinking about innovation i'm thinking about like design i'm thinking about sustainability i'm thinking about every single angle but all that comes together just to build a story yeah. like um and yeah. that story is like this is us we yeah. can do things at yeah. a level that's yeah. different yeah. um but yeah bro yeah. When that colour comes out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, everyone, everyone, everyone's been eyeing this one, like, hey, calm down, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Literally, as you come in, I said, hmm. <laughs> I said, hmm. Yeah, you get nah, me? Nah, it's coming. But nah, man, I appreciate you for coming down. Nah, man. Thanks for having me, man. Nah, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure, man. How you going, man? El Vardy, man. He's not playing games, so look. At all, He's hey, not hey, playing hey, games. He's coming in correct. Everything to look after your shoes. Correct. Design is clean. You're gonna see me drop it this weekend still. <laughs> I hope you like this video. Please leave in your comments and your suggestions. And please remember, like, share, subscribe. Thank you.